What's up, Moose fam? So I'm back. No moose head clothes on or jerseys on. That uh, that time of the year has left for now. I uh, can't wait till uh, till we can strike it back up again. But uh, I'm simply here because I miss you all. Um, it's been God over well, almost two weeks or two weeks exactly um, since we we had a live and. So to get on here and give you guys a chance to talk about a bit of uh, some of the news that's come out um, regarding the Mooseheads in the past couple of weeks, some of it old, some of it new, uh, simply because we just, you know, I can't get lo- go live every time uh, news breaks. So you're going to probably already heard everything that we have to talk about today, but I mean, at least you guys can join in on the topic and, and, and share your thoughts and voice your concerns so i'm going to go over to the zoom chat because i think uh, one or two people are going to join me so we'll do it on zoom here we go oh we miss you too Lindsay and steve hi honey hi dan hi sarah hi colin great name colin that is just a beaut of a name buddy oh we got cheyenne joining in you miss my face, Susan? Oh, I miss every one of your faces. I really do. Uh, miss you, Eden. Yep. God. All right. I'm feeling the love, people. I'm feeling the love. What's up, Cheyenne? Not much. How about you? I am dandy. I am dandy. Uh, so I have a list of things I want to cover today. And, you know, you in the in the chat can uh, voice your opinions. And uh, Cheyenne, no, you can no, voice no. your opinion. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Who's that in the background? Is that your brother? Yep. What's up, big man? How you doing? He said, what's up? How you doing? Good. He said, take this camera off of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, him, him and I, like, he wanted to do the thing where he's just like, don't be putting me on YouTube. I'm like, well, you have to say I call, and that's a must. Yeah, you're on you're on YouTube, buddy. You are now YouTube famous. In, yeah, in front, YouTube famous. In front of 17 people. You want to play? No. <laughs> All right, so let's just get right into it. Uh, some of the newest news coming out for us is Matthew or yeah, Matthew Cataford. Uh, he was called up to the, uh, the Vegas AHL affiliate team, which is absolutely awesome. And he got an assist on his first game with them. Let's go caddy. Um, uh, he's going to do great things next year. You two famous Tyler. <laughs> no, there's only one famous Tyler. Um, okay. What else we got? So, yeah, we got uh, Cataford doing it real big in the AHL. He's going to be an absolute beast for years and years to come. Uh, and I'm just hoping if we don't use him next year, I don't see him coming back to us. Whether he's, yes, we are proud of him. Whether he's back with us for, you know, the beginning of next season or um, he's traded uh, at the draft, I don't think we'll see him in a Moosehead jersey again. Uh, I think he's worth too much to us. Um, and that's not, you know, it's not that I don't want him back, but uh, that's, that speaks volumes to his ability uh, and, and what he can do. Um, yeah. So anybody got any uh, thoughts on uh, Mr. Matthew Catterford? Where do you think he's going? Does anybody have an idea of where you think he will be traded to this year? Um, I'm definitely saying somewhere's in Quebec, you know, kind of move a Quebec team that's going for it and move back home and, and be near his family for his last year. Eden says great for him. Rumor has it. He is going to Ramuski. I also heard that uh, rooster may be going to uh, Ramuski. So I've heard that rumor. They are going to have a pretty stacked team next year because they are going for it. Unfortunately, we need to trade caddy to get some picks 100%. That's junior hockey. That's just the way it is. We're going to get, more into junior hockey and and the way it's run uh, in a little bit when we talk about another uh, another thing we have to talk about today. Um, we got to talk about this because it's circling everywhere. And uh, there was a, an interview that came out, and uh, I, I wanted to leave it alone until I spoke with somebody from the organization. Uh, but I've reached out and nobody's gotten back to me, so that tells me it is fair game. Uh, Colin said, oh, as soon as I heard that, Colin says, I mean, Ramuski is the easy answer, but if there's another strong 
Quebec team, I'd make an argument argument for them too. So I'll tell you right now, they don't. The other teams don't want Ramuski to get our players because uh, there's there's a couple other teams that uh, are really going for it next year, and uh, they're scared that if they get a bunch of our players, they're going to be too stacked. Brad Kuzner. Yeah. We are going to talk about Brad, Brad Kuzner. Uh, I've reached out to him, and I'm hoping to get him on the show. Um, no, the thing we're going to talk about next is the Furlong Dumay debacle. Them wanting out. Yeah. I heard about that. So, we may have Quinn Kennedy in return in the draft. Um, yeah, so... We all know that the team stopped. God, it's so hard to be politically correct and say nice things when it's a negative subject. Um, but we all know that the team changed around Christmas time. Um, now, around Christmas time, uh, that's when juniors happened. And yep. who was in juniors? Dume and Furlong and Rousseau. Yeah. So they had time to sit back while they were in Sweden, uh, look at what the team was doing for trades, which, granted, we didn't do much for trades. Um, and I feel like they were like, you know, we don't have a shot this year. We're getting traded. I'm asking for a trade, so on and so forth. Um, yeah. From I can I see them doing, like, a weird, like, I don't know why, but, like, but like for the next season, like, I can feel them doing, like, a big bigger trade than what we expect what do you mean like i feel like cam's gonna make a trade that's gonna be like not trading one of our good players but like all of our good players if it ha- all of our good players are gone next year oh all yeah you're yeah that's true like but like coming close to like because they traded reese when he was on his prime and that that it's, it's not that it drove me crazy but like it kind of did only just because, like, I actually enjoyed seeing Reef. Like, even even during preseason, I enjoyed seeing him have an A for that a little bit. And then, like, because he really picked up his leadership skills, too. So, like, seeing him, like, getting traded in as prime from Halifax kind of, like, has me wondering what's the next trade going to be like for next year or, so, like, the next season. So, my thought is Shakutami wanted him for two years from now. Um, yeah. They think he, he's going to be good when they're going for it. And that trade only happened because of Dume. Right. That trade only happened because of Dume. They went to Cam with 24 hours left in the trade. There was nothing left to trade. There was nobody, you know, whoever was available for trade, the prices were way too expensive. And that was a forced trade. Um, Yeah, it, it sucks. I mean, I, I think Cam did everything he could this year. And yeah. when you have two players that are on the leadership end of the team that are just creating havoc in the locker room, then cancer spreads. And, you know, I, I hate to say that about uh, Furlong and Dume, but their attitude was very cancerous, and I believe that the team suffered for it. And uh, there was people out there like, um, you know, Morvek and, and Schultz who were taking six and seven pucks an inning to the body yeah, to try right. to try to pick up for our star players um you know unwillingness to play and if you think it was yeah. just two players you're out of your mind you're out of your mind that that half that team quit after christmas half of them for real though no you're not wrong like half of like and i'm not saying they were like lazy or anything either but like sorry about that squeak that's all right um but like i'm not saying that the team that the team was like lazy in any way shape or form either like they they were trying their hardest. You think? And like, especially, I think they were trying the best that they could. Hold on, only hold because- on. Do you think Cataford, who had the majority of his goals before December, was trying after break? Do you think Vitacek was trying well, after no, break? No, not after break, but like, I find that once, like, once the injury started to happen, like, once Lou got, like, once Lou's injury happened, once, like, Logan Logan's, like, injury happened, like, after all the injuries is pretty much when people started, when like the the players were kind of like, mm. and then once like, and then it's like once like, 
once they once Lou came back, like as we mentioned before, like he started to he he was clearly worried about breaking his like Lou's playing scared. there was something Yes. Lou's playing scared yes. for sure. Reynolds, uh, you're right, Sarah. Reynolds didn't want to come to Halifax and he showed it. I think he would have been Oh, more you than... could definitely yeah. tell Reynolds did not want to be here. No. He probably you know, he spent all of his career for the most part I think all of his career in Saint John. In Saint John. He, uh, wanna, he spent he wanna... all yeah. You want a cup with like, them? Like I wouldn't know. want to. No. He want a cup with them. I wouldn't want to either. To be honest, like honest, like, yeah. Um. But yeah. So it was more than one. Uh. The team was at odds. You can see that there was two sides. Um. You know, I spoke. I've. I speak with many people. I won't mention on here. Both connected to the team or friends of people who are connected to the team and and uh, you know billets and family members and such and. You know, there was a lot going on in that locker room, and I don't think people going to Facebook and calling for the jobs of Cam and Brian and Midgley helps the situation whatsoever. These people know. Nope. I Let me tell you something. I'm going to let you know right now, as much bitching as I did about Midgley in the beginning of the year, these people who are put in these positions know more about hockey than anybody who's going to watch this live. More, yep. more than anybody. So we have forty thousand views on our channel thus far, and not one of those views was watched by a person who knows more than hockey, more about hockey than e any of those people. It's their yep. job. They, they, they're doing exactly. what they know. Like it's not their fault. Shit went down in the nope. locker room. The team ruined itself. Point blank. Period. Yep. Um. Let me get to some uh, some points here that people are saying in the chat. Brad Kuzner, yeah, we'll talk about Brad. Uh, we may have Quinn Kennedy in return. Trevor, can you elaborate? Uh, I heard rumors of trading Schultz too, and I hope not. I love Schultz, but I understand it's junior hockey, and that's how it goes. So I personally don't think Schultz will be traded. I've spoken. Uh, I just don't think he'll be traded. Let me just uh, let me put nope. that out there. Um, Schultz is starting to like Schultz is too like Schultz is really good. I don't think they're gonna trade Schultz. No, and the thing is, is we're gonna need some of the leadership core to stick around to lead the next generation of mooseheads. So we're gonna keep some nineteen-year-olds. We're gonna have two or three twenty-year-olds. Um, so yeah, and, here's a question. Yeah. So with us now having only one euro are we gonna have another pick in the draft or are we just gonna stick with one or maybe possibly get another one during the trade so we have 30 43rd pick in the euro draft this year so we're oh. definitely we're definitely gonna pick up another euro uh and then we're gonna stick with spriner i would think he's still young uh but he's yeah he is he's young and experienced so i think we'll probably keep him unless we trade him to another team who wants him um, I actually, I'm gonna miss more of that. No word of a lie. I'm really gonna miss him. He's a good kid. He's a funny guy. Uh, Glenn told me. Eden says Glenn told me that the lower bowl is expected to sell out when it goes on sale in general public. Oh, 100. There's no doubt in my in my mind that the lower bowl will be sold out. You know, a shitty exit to the playoffs this year is not gonna affect ticket sales. This is Moose Country. We only have one team. We're gonna support them to the wheels fall off. Um, exactly. Kim says we can't trade all of our good players. We have to have something to build around. I'm hoping, anyways. Yes, 100. percent Like I, I think I just mentioned that that we're going to keep a few core players, but I guarantee you the people that are going to bring the most are gone. Uh, Vitacek's going to bring yeah. a lot. Russo's going to bring a lot. Cataford's going to bring a lot. McKinnon's going to bring a lot. Um, those those four players alone are gone. Like I I can guarantee you. At least by Christmas, they will not be on the team. One hundred percent. So, I have I have like a theory, like a thought, <laughs> maybe kind of like a theory, where, like I know that they're not accepting Rousseau in the NHL for for say because of his height, but draft possibilities. Like there's also there's like a really high possibility that he could still like make it to the draft. No. No, you don't think? No, he's not eligible anymore. Well, why? Because of his like, is this all just because of his height? I'm well, sorry, I'm very 40, stupid. I don't believe a 43 year old can join the NHL draft. There's like a time limit on it. He can still get invited to teams and um, like do walk on and, and, and stuff like that, but he cannot be drafted anymore. I think you can. And correct me if I'm wrong, Trevor. You'd know best. Um, 
is it only up to like 17 18 19 that can be draft drafted oh yeah i forgot i forgot about age as well yeah um and i could be wrong with that that, that might be something that's rolling around in the back of my mind but i believe that's the case he's been invited to camps but he's missed the draft yeah he went to he, he missed the draft but oh, that's he went what to it is. arizona it's, it's, it's not age you can only get passed over twice and he's already been in the draft twice um yeah so i think it is his size size that's holding him back but he went to two camps last year. Yeah, Arizona and um, Vancouver. Yeah. So, you know, it's not to say he won't play in the NHL, but he's not going to get drafted at this point. He's not, el- yeah, he's not eligible for a draft, no. but he's still possible that, like, it's still possible where he can get signed for, say, maybe. So if, an- if he were to meet, like, the height, the height is. Well, the there's, height no, limit, there's no height requirement. But you can have. No, you can have a four foot goalie if, as far as I know. You can have a seven foot goalie. It's it's not height. It's just the way NHL is moving right now. It's moving in a bigger, faster, stronger direction. So you're it's 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 not uncommon to see six foot seven goalies. You know what I mean? That's true. Yeah. Um, Susan says I don't think they tried. You could see it. Yeah, a hundred percent. The team did not try. Uh, nope. I'm not sure what Demay and Furlong expect a camp to do. It's not like we had a ton of assets to try and bring more pieces. And that's the case. Like, So they wanted to get traded to a team that was going for it. The problem is, is last year we were going for it. Like our season just passed. We wanted to go for it. So why would yep. we trade Dume and Furlong in a year that we're going for it? And people are saying, well, just let just trade them. Give them what they want. Why? So that why the just players... trade them when, like, when we obviously want to win? Well, you have to. It's just like any job. The boss can't yeah. lose control. The nope. employees don't go in making demands. That's not the way work, you know, goes. Like, I'm not going to go into a boss and be like, yeah, uh, if I don't get, uh, you know, chicken wings every Wednesday, but then I'm just gone. You know what I mean? Like, that's just not the way it works. Um, You could tell Reynolds for me, yeah. He, Jesse, I think to me situation brought the boys down a bit too and made it 100 percent uh if my wife is yeah. watching can you please bring me a beer in the garage <laughs> what who is juice juice let us know who you are uh that is the best comment i've seen yet uh huh chooch chooch i really hope your wife is watching you should get that beer uh anyone think we can go after dan laquad no dan's not coming and we're not getting rid of midgley uh as far as i know and again, just from speaking with people, I, it's not it's not locked in stone or anything like that. Uh, he signed a three-year co- uh, contract. We are in a rebuild. Why would we pay three hundred thousand dollars in in head coach uh, salaries uh, for him to sit at home? So he's not going exactly. anywhere. Exactly. Uh, he's not going anywhere anytime soon. As much as people don't like it, he's not going anywhere anytime no, soon. No. Uh, Trevor says Quinn is a local kid. Uh, his dad is the VP of the Moose. Uh, he don't get a lot of ice time. Oh, I don't know. I don't know him. That's crazy. Uh, Colin says, what do you make of the global? We're going to get to Peter in a bit. Uh, and we can't get draft from Russians this year. No, just Euro. I heard. Yeah. Cause yeah. Sprina will be Which 19 is- year old this season. Yeah, oh, will really? he? Yeah. I think Dan Lacroix may make his way back up the AHL. His contract expired at the end of the season. Great coach, wonderful person. He's actually an amazing coach. Uh, you can only get passed over twice in the draft. Yeah. Uh, John, what up, John, buddy? Hey, John. Um, <laughs> you have to be turning 18 by September 15th, but under the age of 20 as of December 31st. In the year you were drafted, okay. Cheyenne, do you play the NHL video games? And if so, what console? Just wondering. It looks like PlayStation. <laughs> yeah, it's PlayStation. Uh, Cheyenne, and yeah, I, I, Cheyenne, what I'm game vibing. are you playing? I'm playing NHL 24, 23, uh, 23, 23, 23. I'm playing 23. We can draft Russians. I don't think we can draft Russians this year. That's coming up the following year, isn't it? Yep, that would be cool. Uh, Quinn I Kennedy think so. plays for Ramuski. His Let's dad go. is Travis Kennedy, VP of Business Ops for the Moose. That's crazy. What a great connection. All right. 
So now that we're into that, I'm going to get on to the next subject. We talked about the locker room. Uh, yep. Dume's court date has been pushed till May. Do May. Are you actually serious? Yeah. Yeah. So it's been, oh my gosh. Do, do you like the little pun? Do do, do May. 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 I get it. <laughs> so see, ch. I know they announced something about Russians, but I didn't think that was this year. Um. So yeah, let's talk about uh, let's talk about old Braddy. We are Ooh, okay. we are getting Brad Kuzner, who is a former Moosehead. He is Oh yeah. Yeah, he is coming on as business development manager, which is super exciting. I love the fact that we're bringing on a former Moose. A former Moose to like yeah, that's yeah. That, that's actually pretty smart, honestly. Just looking him up in Hockey DV so we can uh talk about his stats. So, he is a forward who was born in Glace Bay, Nova Scotia. He is now 31. Uh, he played for the Eagles for two seasons, came to us, and then went to university and then back to us. That's crazy. So, in his first year with us is 2011, Ooh. and he played Ooh. 62 games with 12 goals and uh, 12 assists. He was a minus Ooh. three. Yeah. It was a minus three uh, in 2012-2013, which is our – no, that's not our championship year. Twenty? No, I think it was 20... – 2013-2014. 13, 13, yeah. yeah. Um, he played four games with us, and he was a plus five with two assists. Joel Pink. Why did Trevor just say that name? Oh, is that who his lawyer is? No, Joel Pink's going into the judge circuit, isn't he? Okay, so just still Jesse Steele, uh, NH, C, sorry, Searle, NHL video games are fun to play. LFG, LFD, which is Jose. Russians can be drafted Probably. this coming draft. Okay. Only thing is they might be called to serve any time. Susan says, Colin, you're so funny. Ooh. I know. Uh, right? Colin's literally the funniest man I've ever met. Uh, Dumais, or Sarah says, Dumais lawyer works on my floor at work. I see him in the elevator every day. Trevor says, Joel Pink, question mark. No, Joel Pink, I believe, is going... Also, 20, 2012, 2013 was our mem year. Sorry. Um, oh, it was. Okay. Joel Pink uh, is... I don't think he's a lawyer anymore. I think he's like going into the judge circuit. Uh, Cousiner's dad, I think, was a mayor or something, says Trevor. Lindsay says, once a moose, always a moose. And he's coming back to be a moose. Yep. Uh, no, it was a 2012-2013. Our championship should be okay. So everybody's telling me what an, what an idiot I am now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't feel bad. I was on the same boat there, bud. Right? It's hard to keep track. Um, so, yeah. So, he'll be a welcomed uh, uh, addition to the team. And I think what his title is, is like how to bring more profitability into the company uh business development mm -hmm. manager um they're, he's going to be looking for sponsors and um ways to make bring costs down make more money i believe that's what business development manager is that's i mean that makes sense to me um i've spoke to many people who are with the with the mooseheads organization and they all say the same thing that they're very fortunate to the fact that they can hi hire multiple people and you know, they still have to wear different hats, but I guarantee you that a lot of teams in the queue don't have a business development a development manager, which is which is awesome that we're able to do that. Uh, I think his dad was a former MP on the South Shore. Brad was also an account exec for the Canucks. So he has a lot of great Which is actually the team that I'm playing right now. <laughs> the Canucks? Yeah. Russians and Belarus players will be eligible in the draft uh, July 3rd, 2024. Awesome. TSM put it up as well. Okay, great. I'm so happy uh, that we can pull from a different avenue. It just means that more skill comes our way. Um, so let's get into the um, 
the cookies and cream of this uh of this live cookies and cream cookies and cream um i lost it there it is <laughs> so which is the simon interview everybody watch that the simon interview yeah I haven't yet. Okay, well, I'm going to put it up on the live. So can you mute yourself? And I'm going to mute myself. Yeah. And that way people can hear it. All if, right, got you. If you haven't watched it, it's only about a minute long. And uh, I'm going to play it for you guys now. So stay with me. And keep in mind, there's a lot that was left out. Um. Sorry. Ownership group says they're incredibly disappointed after an early playoff exit. The team was swept by Acre Bathurst Titan in the first round of the Quebec Maritime. Sorry, guys. Just having some te technical issues. Give me one quick second. Okay. We are back. And sticking with sports, the Halifax what the heck? Heads owner. What the heck is going on? <sighs> Sorry, guys. And sticking with sports, the Halifax Mooseheads ownership group says they're incredibly disappointed after an early playoff exit. The team was swept by Acre Bathurst Titan in the first round of the Quebec Maritimes Hockey League playoffs last week. Simon Sports president Peter Simon is vowing to bring two big fan experience additions next year. However, he stopped short of details, but he says players, staff and the ownership group all take responsibility for this season's outcome. I don't have enough words to express the disappointment. It's, um, you know, it was shocking, truthfully, and um, and very disappointing. And I know we were down, you know, a few players, uh, key players, uh, Jordan Dume and Jake Furlong, but you know, it's it's truthfully unacceptable. And uh, and um, and it's one way to lose, but it's another another way to go out that we did as well, which which uh, I feel for our fans. Um, Simon says assessments are being done this week about what went wrong and how they will improve. Asked about any potential front office or coaching changes, he says they will have more clarity next week on their direction moving forward. What do we think of that? What do you think any of that means? The part that caught me off that caught me the most was the fact that he's like he's not just blaming like the coaching at all. He's blaming everybody. Yep. Yep. Um I got that too. Um I think he's trying to be political. Uh, For sure. I don't think he's trying to give away too much. I emailed him myself. Um I think he was trying to give like say much without saying too much. You know what I mean? A hundred percent. I tried reaching out to him. Uh, I just emailed him before I started the live uh, just to see if I can get anything out of him. Uh, he hasn't messaged me back. He's a busy man, but he's typically, he typically gets back to me inside of, you know, an hour or so. Um, he didn't say anyone was safe. Exactly. And, and that's the scary yeah, part. Yeah, no, exactly. That's what I was saying. Like, nobody was safe in that. Like, he... Oh. Sorry, my phone... my battery ran low it's okay. um but like he, he was basically saying that like nobody was safe in that and that like everybody had a part like had to partake in that so i hope and i hope he's not looking to fire too many people uh i don't yeah me neither i don't think that's a smart decision um let's no. just fire everybody and replace i mean we can you know we had a hard time getting a coach last year let's fire everybody no, no. oh we had a really hard time getting a coach and sly was a great coach too I, I love Sly. I, I think he could probably could have taken us to um, to the cup this year, in all honesty. Uh, and, oh, for and that's sure. Not to say anything bad about Midgley. I just, you know, to me, he's unproven. Um, that's it. I don't know. It's just, I'm not, and I'm not saying I didn't like Midgley as a coach, but like some of the things, like 
there could have been better things to happen, you know? Uh, Trevor, I agree. We do need a long-term coach. Um, is he it? I don't know. I just don't. I just hope the Simons aren't looking at all these Facebook posts and say, "Hey, let's make the fans happy," and then they clean house, and then we're screwed for ten years. You know, that's that's my oh, for concern. real. Um, and like, we come. Yeah, sure, we complain about them, but like at the same, like you said earlier, at the same time, like they know more. They know way more than we do. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. He did go on to say that. So me and Dylan were discussing this earlier. Uh, the fact that they said they want to be competitive every year. He did, however, go on to say that although he wants to be competitive every year, he does understand it's junior hockey, and he, uh, you know, we can still be competitive with sixteen and seventeen year olds as long as they're good players. And and yep. I agree. So it's not like so he's not opposed to getting rid of good players, which I li- I think is awesome because it's something that's needed to to restock the cupboards. Um, let's- Highly agree. Go back to the comments. We should draft Matt V. Mitch Ekoff. I'm bad with Russian names, dude. I don't pay attention <laughs> to them. Like you, all you people are like crazy fans. Markov? Man. Nick Markov? No, this is Matt, Matt V. Um, oh. You, you fans are much more involved. Like some of these people on this chat watch Russian hockey, watch, you know. Chechnya hockey or pay attention to them when they're in the uh, in the juniors and stuff. I don't. So I have no idea who that is. I'm sure he's a wonderful player. Uh, doesn't want you to show that video. No, CJ puts his feet up on the computer and kicks everything that's plugged into the back of the PC when, he, when he's playing with it. Um, can you hear you? All we need is the... Yeah, but the video's better, Dylan. Uh, Russo's 0 for 4 with the new mask. That's crazy. Yeah. So we 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 talking about uh, hockey uh, um, voodoo right now? <laughs> no, because see... like I find it weird that it all just happened after we got his new mask. Like, oh, I'm not well, saying no, I'm superstitious or anything like that either. To be fair, since the break, we we've, we've all been saying Russo lost a step. Russo's in, like Tyler's giving me a look. I can feel it, but like. Russo is a really good goalie. Don't get me wrong. A million percent. Of course. And what'd you say? Oh, no. You think you, yeah, like. He lost a step. You distracted me and Toronto just got a goal. But yeah, Tyler Ooh. said that too. He he lost his step. Shush up over there, Colin. Um, uh, Trevor Timmy. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, oh, Tim Boyce sent an application. Trevor says, Timmy. Uh, I think Sly should have stuck around at least this season to finish the job from last season. So he had a year left on his con- contract. Um, but why did he just walk out of it? I he could have easily let us. I don't know if it's public knowledge or not, so I'm not going to say anything. Uh, Makes sense. But uh, there, there's some behind the scenes stuff. I um, heard that it, like, because it said that it was due to family like that's part of it issues like that yeah like i heard that was a part of like like the reasoning behind some of it yeah that's but that's we all don't know what goes on behind closed doors yep uh that would be a great coach tim bottomley anyone know where he is uh says eden Colin victoriaville says, victoriaville um colin says coaching is the same as the players we need to have good core to build around agreed Trevor. Or not Victoriaville. Drummondville, Drummondville both his years. My mistake. No, that's where Sly is. Ooh. Oh, who are we talking about? She Sorry. Wa- she wanted to know where Tim or uh, Jim Bottomley was. Uh, oh, Jim Bottomley. Trevor and Jose both put names that I can't pronounce. Igor and Igor, but they're both crazy last names with more vowels than consonants. I was noticing those names. Yeah, I could A couple times. I'm not going to even bother trying. Uh, I follow the Devils mainly because of Timo and Nico. Uh, between them and the Mooseheads, it was a rough go this year. Yeah. Uh, AJ Mora. Yeah. Toronto just beat them something fierce, didn't they? Toronto just beat them. Oh, the did they ever? Fierce. Like, spanked them. I can't stand Toronto, but. Uh, AJ says uh, he's. I shouldn't be on this live then. <laughs> he's drafted the Phillies, kidding, so I'm I don't kidding. think you could draft him from Russia. Uh, John says Jimbo. 
runs the South Shore Lumberjacks on the Junior B League Eden. Uh, he hasn't coached much in years. More into the front office of his team. I found you finally. Good to be here. Thanks, Tom. How you doing, buddy? Uh, so I'm just going to move on to really the last piece of news before we discuss who's coming up on, on the, the show. Eventually, if I can ever get some scheduling done. Uh, we do have plans for more uh, um, interviews. It's just scheduling with some of these players or... Um, you know, they've all moved on to doing other things and they're businessmen and, and so on and so forth. So it's hard to get schedule, get scheduling, but I, I couldn't have this live without mentioning Billy Marr. Um, right. Yeah. So he, he, he fought a battle with cancer and unfortunately he lost. Um, yeah, I, I, my heart goes out to his family. Uh, I know cancer's a bitch and, and that's why hockey, <clears throat> Hockey has it has such a, a a big connection with cancer, you know, because there's so many people yep. in that barn, and cancer takes a lot of lives. So, um, yep. Billy Meyer, man, I hope you're resting in peace, man. Uh, and and again, I I feel for the family. Um, Kim Davison Russo never had the team in front of him after Christmas, so I. <sighs> Our defense was actually pretty strong this year. It was Russo, weirdly. Yeah, I, I, I Kim, you, typically you're right on the head of the with with the hammer. I, I can't get behind you on that one. I think our defense was much better this year. Um, Russo had worse defense in front of him last year than this year, a million percent. Um, Catterford with an assist last night in the HL. Yeah, we spoke about that, bud. Where were you at? Um, AJ, remember Red, Red Duloff? He played pro, then played in the queue. Uh, that is Jose. Does he still Cheyenne? Are you playing franchise mode or season? She's more interested. Why don't you guys exchange, you know, player names and, and, and play with each other? I'm just kind of just playing. Like, I don't even have an account. I'm just playing. Oh, okay. Um, Trevor D, come on, man. Say the one I wrote. Oh, the name? Yeah, let me try. Igor Carville. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Oh, fuck. No, he's being funny. Igor Carville off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, love you, Trevor. Uh, Jose says, uh, Joanna McKinnon are tearing it up, though. They are doing well. Uh, Eden. Oh, are they ever? Yeah, they keep connecting. Uh, between Moose and Ottawa, it's been a rough go. Seven years since we made playoffs. But you're just back in the wrong, you know, NHL teams, right? Uh, Eden, why did you leave Todd alone in Section 15? He might be moving to depend on... Well, Todd, if Eden don't want you, we'll have you, buddy. Shame, shame, <laughs> Eden. Um, Look at that mug. You like that, Kevin? Um, Billy was an amazing person. I went to high school with Billy. Oh, that's awesome, man. Billy will also. Oh, that's Trevor. Uh, John says Billy will be missed around the rink. Always a smile on his face around the rink. Uh, two claps and a Ric Flair for Billy. Woo! 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 Uh, Dano says Billy did a lot for the fire department, the racing world. He did a lot for a lot like of organizations. On, he was posted on like um, Haligonia and stuff like that after after his passing, and I was like reading it, and I was like, "Wow!" Like I didn't realize he did that, like outside of hockey. I didn't know he was a firefighter as well. Yeah, it's crazy how much he got into, man. Absolutely crazy. Cool. Um, Sarah says at Eden, my coworker's cousin finally got called up to Ottawa for a few games this year. Oh, sucks to be him. Uh, AJ, hey, oh. <laughs> AJ Morage says Moose X equipment manager is with Ottawa and got a thousand games in Ottawa. They celebrated him. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Kevin says LFG Duran. Uh, Trevor, Trevor says I won a free dinner on a bet because of Duran's point total. That's awesome. All right. So moving on to channel news. Uh, we do have some, some guests lined up. Just nothing confirmed as of yet, but they are this month. Um, 
Harlan Hayes, which I, I believe I spoke. I really of. hope you know which name I'm hoping for. You know exactly which name I'm hoping he's, for. He's he's in the playoffs. Really? Yeah, Bush is in the playoffs. In Florida. I thought he got tra- No, I thought he got traded to Iowa. No, as far as I've heard. I'll have to check, but I, I know whatever team he's playing on, he's. A, I just texted him. He hasn't gotten back to me. Um, yeah, but uh, it's not him. So Harlan Hayes will be on probably next week. Um, he was our very first backup goalie. He is a stellar dude. I, I got he wanted to talk to me before he went on the show just to get a feel for me and make sure I'm just not trying to screw him over. And uh, what an absolute gem of a guy. We spent 45 minutes on the phone just shooting the shit. Um, just an incredible person. Like just a, a guy's guy. So he's going to be a fun one. And he's got some really cool stories. Uh, he does have a list of questions, but he prefers to just speak off the riff. Um, so I'm assuming that one's going to get away from me. And we're just going to be listening to him go on and on. He really loved his time with the herd. So that's going to be a really fun one. Trust me. Um, and then we have Billy Manley. Anybody in the chat excited for Billy Manley? No. 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 Uh Bush is in fact in the playoffs, uh Dylan says. Uh yep, Ian Cox. I'm happy for him. Behind the scenes Ottawa, Everblades. Um the Moose wouldn't have won if you continue to wear the cape. It's all your fault. Fuck off. It's not my fault. Um five minutes left before we go Stanley. Yeah, at least aren't getting the cup. Dream on, dream on. There is no way. So what's going to happen this year is Leafs are going to blow it in the first round. So they always do. They're choke artists. They have some of the best talent on their team, and they're going to choke. I promise you. It's a Leafs thing. There's a curse. Uh, Boucher plays for Iowa, and they are in the playoffs. No way, Tom. Yeah, see? Canucks are winning this I year. Jody cause... Shelley. Manly the man. Can't wait to hear that interview, Tom says. And nobody else knows who Manly or who uh, Manly is. <coughs> who Billy Manley is? Really? I fault. personally haven't heard of the name either. He's an older player. Um, 2000 and... Oh, God. No, night. Hang on a second. I gotta look it up. Hey, Moose Country! Welcome to another episode of... Sorry. Wrong keyboard. So he played for the Halifax 95 to 99. Number 16, oh, Trevor wow. says. Oh, a few years. Yeah, four years. Um, he, he wasn't, I believe he was the captain or was he a co-captain? Correct me in the chat, please. For some reason, I think he was a co-captain. You don't know the name Billy Manley, Kim? Really? I figured Kim would know it for sure. Uh, Matteo Mann signed with an EHL team. Uh, no idea. Last year, Billy Manley, number 16. We want Jody Shelley. Hey, we made I like Jody Shelley. Last year. Um, Boston put you guys out last year, didn't they? Is it Boston that put the Leafs out? No, no, no. Uh, Boston didn't put the Leafs out, actually. It was... Uh, not yet. Shut up. <laughs> It was no, last, um, last year, didn't they? Last year it was Florida. Oh, it was Florida, really? It was Boston. Yeah, Florida Panthers. No, Boston got eliminated. Oh, that's right, the upset. Yep. That's right. Well, Kim, I can't believe you don't remember him, Tom says. Yeah, so he played on the team for four years. I believe he was co-captain. Am I right there, Tom, or was he just captain? Um, like, did he did he share co-captaincy with um with Brant Brant Blackned? I would I would think not actually. I think Brant was older. But in one of the years I believe he was uh Florida put Lee out. Yeah. Uh Kim didn't start watching until two thousands. Okay. Boston got bounced first round. Yeah. Yeah, that was the upset. Um so yeah, so those are the two. Yeah, that and I, I went off on Isaiah for it too. <laughs> Isaiah. Funny little guy. 
I um, love that guy. Anybody but Boston. Hashtag anybody but Boston is my slogan. Boston fans need therapy. Would, no, no hate to any Boston fans in the chat. I would much rather Boston win than I, Toronto. Yeah, Tyler. Much rather Boston win than Toronto. A million percent. They don't even compare. At least, you know, at least Marshy is, is on Boston. Yeah, and I can't stand Matthews. I can't stand. Nope, not saying it. It's Scrapper as well. Tyler, you so, quiet in there. So Manly doesn't have many penalty minutes. Uh, the most he had was 97, 98, and it was 51. Uh, not Moose related, but how are the Eagles selling out their rink? Well, it's because it's playoffs. Thanks, Colin. Now you got Tyler on my ass. <laughs> how about what? Boston and Toronto. Because I said Boston fans need therapy. And, 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 and. He heard you. Well, he didn't hear you because you're in my AirPods. But then he uh, he like heard me say Boston fans need therapy, and then he's like, "Yeah, what's Colin saying?" Susan, I'm like, "Pretty much." Like, Susan says Toronto. Tyler's fans. a Boston fan. Savano says, or Susan says uh, Toronto fans need uh, need uh, therapy, and Kevin agrees. Ooh. Me too. I hate Montreal. Who said I hate Montreal? I didn't even see that. Nobody Ooh. said it. Why are you saying me too? Nobody said I hate Montreal. We're gonna go get your trip bowl. Montreal, what are you saying? That Montreal's time? it. I think you're going to go pick a new team. Uh, why do you think the Canucks are my second favorite there, bud? Arizona might be moving to Salt Lake City. Uh, but how can you not stand him? Manly wore an A. Okay. I don't think he wore C. So when I was talking to... Oh, he didn't play for the team. Sorry. He may not have been a captain. I was speaking to a guy who used to own uh, a bunch of bars downtown. Um, he owned the Toothy Moose, Bubbles Mansion, Club Soda, uh, Bubba Ray's. And I worked for him for six years. And I didn't know, but he, he played in the QMJHL. Um, My community officer, actually. Sorry, this is off topic. I don't remember his name, so don't ask me his name because I cannot remember it. But my community officer actually used to play for the Mooseheads. What, what did he look like? Uh, do you remember what he looked like? I look away for two seconds and Toronto just scored again. What? White guy, black guy. Was he black? I feel like, no, he was oh. a white guy. He was a white guy. White guy? Right? Yeah. White guy. He had a beard. Uh, I, oh my gosh. His, his last name is it. Like it's right here, but oh my goodness. I yeah, can't it was remember Brad. what it was. It was Brad Trevor. I spoke with him on sponsoring the, Sponsoring the channel uh, with one of his bars, but he's no longer in the uh, in the industry. He now works for PSA, um, the place where you would take your cards to get graded and stuff. And he said, if there's anything PSA can do for my channel, to reach out. <laughs> I'm not sure what I would ever do with that, but it was very nice of him to offer. What year did he used to play? He right. said 2012 to 13, right? Oh, sorry. This is really racking my brain right now. What year? To, he used to play. He said he played for 2012-2013. And he played. So that's our winning year. Yeah. No. Brad yes. did play for Beauport. Uh, AMG Collectibles. Yeah, he used to own AMG Collectibles along with all the bars. I can't remember. Get Midtown to sponsor. So I actually reached out to Midtown. Um, they aren't... Uh, they're not in the financial place to do that right now. Um, we still don't have sponsors. Uh, it's it's. I'll tell you, man, that is a struggle trying to find people who believe in you enough to give you some of their money to advertise them. That that's hard. Um, but that being said, we do have a bunch of you said what? companies that are interested, and we'll see you next year. Um, Tyler thinks. Sorry, I don't. I don't mean to cut you off. That's all right. Um, Tyler thinks that we're gonna pull another Denoye trade. How so? What do you mean? Uh, I. What do you mean, Tyler? Like, what do you think is gonna to happen? Take Caleb. You think we're gonna trade for Caleb? Yeah. We're not getting done. No, no, we're not getting right. Denoye. We are not getting Denoye. Colin not, said, "There's no way we're getting one Denoye." One million. Billion trillion percent, we are not getting Daniel Ye. I mean, it's possible, but no, I highly it's, doubt it's, it. It's not even possible. 
Moncton's going you for it think? this year. Moncton's going for it this year. There's no way we're getting their top oh. rookie of the year. There's just no way. Fair, 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 fair. Right? There's just no way in hell we would get Dan Oye. And I don't think even the following year we'll get Dan Oye. Dan Oye will go to somebody who's going for it the following year. We, we will. Dan, but another, what if that? But what if that just so happens to be us going for it? We, the we, have, following? A, we have a minimum of three year build. Yeah, true. So we will not see Dan Oye in a Moosehead jersey. It would be nice. Uh, Moose it would probably be. trade for Quinn Kennedy from Ramuski. Says Dylan. Tom says, if I win the lotto, Max, you will have sponsorship money. You'll need to go. Awesome. I love you, bud. Uh, that was Tom. Uh, Moncton isn't getting rid of Dan Oye, says Trevor. Probably 2026. You mean hard enough time sponsorships for the team? Yeah. It's hard getting sponsors for a team that's going to nationals, let alone for a channel. Uh, yeah, for real. That's what Trevor said. All right, guys. So that's all I have. Anybody else in the chat have anything else you want to discuss before I get the hell off of here? I really did miss you guys. Um, this is the longest I've gone without being in front of the camera. And in all honesty, I just want to see this sexy mug up on the screen. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, I really did miss these talks. Uh, they, they mean a lot to me. They're a big part of my life now. And uh, I just I miss talking to you guys. So I want to get back on here. We may go to every two weeks, depending on how much news we get out of the moose heads. Because, you know, I can get on here and talk about Quebec Major Junior news, but that's not what this channel is. Uh, do the moose heads have a first rounder? No, we have a second rounder. Uh, but I believe we will have a first rounder uh, come come the trade or come the uh, the, the draft. Uh, where's your jersey? No jersey. Hockey's okay. over, bud. Uh, Steve says, go, Moose, go. AJ, no, as of now, no. Oh, that's for the draft. Uh, no first rounders this year. Nope. Uh, Trevor says, not yet. Uh, we need the cape back next time. Kevin, I'll bring you the cape. You can wear it, buddy. Keep it going during the offseason. So we are going to keep it going on during the offseason, probably every two weeks. Uh, and then the, um, of course, the, the, the interviews when we do get them. I have to go get the joke book if I can find it, because if I get off here without doing the joke, I know I'm going to get a message from, uh, from Ian. No, I'm going to get no Ian. Don't care. It's, it's, uh, oh. it's, uh, Steve, Steve will lose months. Give me a second. Oh. My joke book. Thought. Nope. Well. All right, Steve. You're gonna have to do me a favor, buddy. You're gonna have to write in the comments the dad joke or the the joke. I can't find the book. For those of you who don't know, uh -oh. oh, Brad. Wait. Breaking news, boys. Break. Breaking news, boys and girls. Whoa. So. That's a new one. This is a new one. I just got a message from Brad Kuzner. The new guy on the team. He used to play for the Moose. Mm-hmm. Uh, one second, Steve. You're gonna you're gonna have to do the joke, but just give me a minute. So I sent him a message. And asked him if he'd come on the show. So what I get back from him was, Colin, would love to chat at some point. I'm still out in Vancouver, so trying to make my move across country and get my feet wet with the business side of things. Love that you're a loyal fan and locked into the team. Let's chat more when I'm back in Halley, if that's okay. So... That's Ooh, that cool. sounds sick. That's cool. So Brad will be on the show, I, I, I would say, I, I hope. Um, just have to chat. I'm just going to get back to him real quick. Give me a second. Why don't you go ahead, Steve, with the, uh, the joke and everybody can see it in the chat. Over, over. Yes, let's go. Ah, oh, come on. No goal. Of course they call it a goalie interference. Uh, 
All right. So, what the heck happened there? All right. So, Steve, where's my joke, man? Come on. I cued you in. There we go. Joke of Ian. What team did the cab driver play for? What team did the cab driver play for? I don't know, Steve. Cabs are already gone. Were you telling them to go? What? St. Orange or Magic, probably whoever has better training camp. We're talking about next Ooh, year's Ooh, Sammy. I, I actually got the opportunity to go to a Max game not too long ago. Yeah, we went to the final. Me, the and, me and Dylan and the wife and kids here, we all went to the last one. Yeah, I saw Savannah, po or Savannah, sorry. Um, Melissa posted it. Yeah, it was fun. It was good. The taxi squad. Womp womp. <laughs> womp womp. Ian, if you're watching, womp womp. Steven, pick a better joke, man. Come on. Ooh, what Nico, team did it. the taxi driver played for the taxi squad? Let's go. Womp womp. Womp womp. I blame Steven, not Ian. All right, guys. That's it for us. Hope you're all healthy, safe, and happy out there. And as always, go Moose, go. Go Moose, go! Love it.